episode 482 of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Going to be talking about tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite featuring the fallout from All in London and is the go-home episode before this Sunday's All Out pay-per-view. Right here, right now, 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Hi, wrestling fanatics. Welcome to tonight's episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. And it's Wednesday night. You know what that means. Time to talk about tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite featuring the fallout from this past Sunday's AEW All in London, which is also the go home show. Before this Sunday night's AEW All Out pay-per-view. Let's get right into it. This week's Dynamite was live from Chicago. Well, the Chicago area anyway. Hoffman Estates. The Now Arena. Which at the time when it was known as the Sears Center was... The home of the original All In. Our commentators tonight, Excalibur, Tony, Shavani, and Taz. We start off with a little highlight package from All In London. And then our first match of the night, John Moxley taking on Commander with Alex Haberhentes in his corner. It's already been announced that John Moxley is the number one contender for the AEW International Championship, or he will be Sunday anyway, because he will be facing the winner of the main event tonight between Orange Cassidy and Penta El Zero Miedo. And that is our main event tonight. I will talk about that a little later on. And we get some footage from All In London that we didn't see Sunday. If you could pay attention to the background, what was on the monitor, it was when the stadium stampede was going on. FTR went up to the Young Bucks and said they tried to show them respect out there. They didn't shake their hands. And the Young Bucks just pretty much said they got caught up in the moment. They wanted the tag titles. This was the show they created. And it looked like they were about to show FTR. The same respect, they maybe shake their hands, but then they were interrupted by Bullet Club Gold. Jay White, Juice Robinson, and the guns. And this turns into an eight man tag team match for this Sunday at All Out. The AEW World Tag Team Champions. FTR and the Young Bucks will be taking on Bullet Club Gold. Should be quite a good match there. And then we have Chris Jericho in the ring. Jericho lost to Will Ospreay this past Sunday at All in London. 
and he asks Sammy Guevara to come out so he can apologize. And he does, but then Jericho and Guevara end up taking some shots at each other. Jericho says maybe he could have won if Guevara hit him with the bat a little harder. And Jericho brings, or Guevara brings up that if he wasn't paying so much attention to him, maybe he could have even had a match on the card. And he said, Jericho says maybe next year. And then Guevara says, then hopefully I won't lose. Taking a shot at Jericho. And, but luckily these two get over their differences. And Jericho tells Guevara next week that they should try to earn a shot at the AEW World Tag Team Championships. So apparently they're going to put Jericho and Guevara in the title picture for the World Tag Team titles. I could kind of see this going where they team and they get some wins. And then when they finally do get a shot at the World Tag Team titles... I could see one of them turning on the other. Will it be Jericho turning on Guevara? Or will it be Guevara turning on Jericho? At this time, not quite sure. But I could see that happening. One of them turning on the other when they do challenge for the World Tag Team titles. Next up, we have Adam Cole out. And he is interrupted by Roderick Strong in the kingdom. And they talk about how he used them, says he just uses people, things like that. Mike Bennett goes over their history in Ring of Honor together. And then they even... They don't actually say WWE, of course, but they too talk about when he his time in NXT with the Undisputed Era. And we have a women's trios match. Chris Statlander, the AEW TBS champion. Chris Statlander, by the way. Hikaru Shida and... Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, taking on the team of Nyla Rose, Marina Shafir, and Emi Sakura. This one, pretty good match here. I thought this was pretty entertaining. Statlander pins Shafir to get the win. But then after the match... Ruby Soho comes in and takes the TBS championship. Ruby Soho will be challenging Chris Statlander for the AEW TBS championship this Sunday night at All Out. This match, I would say, two and a half out of five ring bells. And to go back to the first one, I forgot like I usually do. John Moxley and Commander, I'd say probably three out of five ring bells. And then we get the new AEW Trios champions, the acclaimed and Billy Gunn in the ring. Billy says that daddy ass is back. And then they have a ribbon cutting ceremony. And also they reveal new pink AEW Trios titles and then they celebrate and not only are the leather on these titles pink but also in the back instead of being attached like most normal belts are they 
they connect by scissoring, which that is, I thought, pretty, pretty, sorry, pretty creative. I probably never have thought of that. That is a very good idea by whoever in AEW was the one that thought of that. I think they definitely deserve some credit for being very creative by coming out with these scissoring title belts. And in the main event of this week's Dynamite, the AEW International Championship is on the line. Freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy taking on Penta El Zero Miedo with Alex Abrahantes in his corner. Fantastic main event tonight. I'm a big fan of Penta and definitely a big fan of Orange Cassidy as well. I have been talking about on 360 Wrestling Fanatic for a while now that Orange Cassidy is probably one of the best champions not just in AEW but all of pro wrestling having all these successful title defenses and all of them have been very good matches also Especially tonight with Penta. There was a one time when the towards the finish it looks like Penta is gonna hit his finisher, which I don't know why. I was just thinking about the name of it, but for some reason I I I'm drawing a blank now, it just went out of my head. But he's about to hit it on the apron of the ring, which everybody talks about is the hardest part of the ring. And he's about to hit it. But then OC avoids it, but then he does hit it. And then Goes back in the ring. Penta snaps the, or, snaps the arm of Orange Cassidy. And then goes for it again. Which I don't know why. I know the name of his finisher. But I... 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 I sorry, I know. I'm just getting mad at myself because I know it. I just can't... I just can't think of it right now for some reason. While I'm recording, looking stupid now because I can't remember. Well, I I am stupid. I don't just look stupid. Plus, besides, this isn't video anyway. But I just can't think of it for some reason. So dumb. And he hits again. But then Orange Cassidy is able to reach his hand up. And just barely grab the bottom rope. And goes for another cover. But then at this time, OC is able to sneak in a quick roll up. And defeat Penta. Which is definitely not the first time he got a victory with a quick roll up. To successfully defend the AEW International Championship. So still... AEW International Champion Orange Cassidy, I'd say four out of five ring bells for this one. Great main event. I definitely enjoyed this one. And then after, we get quite a rare promo from Orange Cassidy, which talked more than I think we may have ever heard him say before. And he finishes it off by saying, I am Orange Cassidy. And I don't have a catchphrase. But then we see the man who will be challenging Orange Cassidy for the International Championship this Sunday at All Out. John Moxley. 
as dynamite goes off the air. So that was tonight's AEW Dynamite to Go Home episode of This Sunday's All Out. And I thought it was a very good episode once again. I thought even though a lot of the card for This Sunday's All Out wasn't announced yet, because this is just taking place one week after All in London, and more of the attention was on All In, of course. So, before All In, there was only, I think, maybe two or three matches for All Out announced. And then, it definitely did not have very much of a build for All Out. But still, I thought this was a pretty good go-home show before the pay-per-view on Sunday night. And overall, as a show, I'd have to say probably 7.5 out of 10 ring bells for a whole show rating. That's my opinion on it. And you can leave your feedback for tonight's AEW Dynamite in the comment section, either here on Spreaker, YouTube, or whichever podcast app you listen to on. And also during Dynamite, one of the matches that was added to All Out will be for the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Samoa Joe will be defending against Shane Taylor, which should be a pretty good match, I thought. And there's been a little bit more news with the whole fight between CM Punk and Jack Perry. Apparently, some more Joe broke it up and convinced CM Punk to go out for the match. Also today, Impact Wrestling has announced that Gail Kim and Awesome Kong will be competing at Impact 1000. The way Gail Kim talked about it today was that her and Awesome Kong, who had one of the best feuds in TNA slash Impact and Knockouts history, will be teaming together. And she said, pretty much kind of like an open challenge, whoever wants to show up to fight either against them or with them, can and it has been announced also that the beautiful people will be appearing at Impact 1000. Also, we will have Team 3D and they will be wrestling on the show. We will have Ultimate X and also Feast or Fired. So that is going to be a uh, really big episode of Impact Wrestling, one that you do not want to miss. Impact 1000 coming in September. And that is just about all the news I got for tonight. And that's all for this episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic. Thank you, everyone. For tuning in tonight. Remember. If you have any questions or comments. Or just want to say anything. You can leave your feedback. For tonight's episode. Of AEW Dynamite. And give your predictions. For the two pay-per-views. Or premium live events. This weekend. WWE Payback on Saturday. AEW All Out on Sunday. Give your predictions for both shows. Once again, in the comment section. Here on Spreaker, YouTube, whichever podcast website you listen to on. Hopefully tomorrow, 
I will have the usual Thursday episode talking about Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor, on Honor Club. But first, I will be back here for the Thursday morning episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. I will talk to everyone then. But for now, I am Lance and I am a wrestling fanatic.